could you introduce yourself and tell us what your role is in the Royal Air Force? So I'm SEC Yasmin Kashuk. I'm 21 years old and I'm an RAF medic. I'm Flying Officer Holly Jaycock. I'm 24 years old. and I'm an Air Operations Control Officer specialising in weapons control. What does your job actually entail? So currently I work in primary healthcare in a medical centre, um, taking blood, administering vaccines, conducting ECGs and hearing tests. Um, we also do um, medical admin as well, which is like referrals, chasing up appointments. And there's a lot of opportunities as well to provide medic cover uh, for like ranges and parachute job zones. So quite a few opportunities, which is good. Sounds really fun. Yeah. <laughs> and what does your job entail? As a weapons controller, I use a combination of radio, radars and digital data links in order to talk to pilots and provide them with situational awareness and tactical control. Were you ever part of the Air Cadets or the University of Air Squadron? At university, I was part of Southampton University Air Squadron, which was a great experience. I got to learn to fly, though I wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do adventurous training, learn to ski, to rock climb. Also partake in a lot of charity things and get involved with the Royal Air Force Association and Benevolent Fund, which gave me a wider appreciation of the Air Force and also visit different places and see how the RAF works pre actually fully committing. And I was fortunate enough to get a aerospace battle management bursary my second year. So I was sponsored for the last year's university degree, which is really cool. What do you enjoy most about your career in the RAF and what has been your career highlight so far? I enjoy being able to go and train with the RAF and UK Armed Forces teams for volleyball. Obviously, this was before COVID. Um, you know, it's just a great environment, a great team to be around. And, you know, we've, I've been able to meet so many new faces and made some great friends um, from across all three services, actually. Um, and then my career highlight would definitely be my first season competing on the RAF team. I came straight out of training and got onto the team. Um, and then we played in the inter-services against the Army and the Navy. And then we played in the Crown Services as well that year, which was against Army, Navy, Police and the Fire Service. And we won both. My career highlight so far would probably be graduating from Cranwell and getting my commission, because it was in front of my family and my friends and being on the parade square with my friends who had gone through such a hard 24 weeks. But um, it was really something quite special and to share with everybody. What would you say are your greatest achievements in the RAF so far? For me, my greatest achievement so far would be completing the weapons control course. It's a long and arduous course, but also the fact that all four of us passed the course, giving the course a 100% pass rate, which hadn't happened in a very long time. I think it was because we all worked together and we all became really good friends and supported each other through the course. Uh, it meant we got that great result and it's meant that I then got my commission confirmed. I'm on train strength and able to actually contribute to the RAF and to defend task one. I feel like it can actually make a direct difference now. That's a great achievement. Well done. <laughs> How about you? What would you say? Yours is? Um, my greatest achievement would probably be coming straight out of training and getting scouted for the RAF and UK Forces team um, almost straight away, um, which has kind of led on for me um, receiving an award, an award for the RAF Sports Colour. Um, so I've picked that up this beginning of this year from the station commander here so that was a really great achievement I think for me. What kind of exciting opportunities have you had so far in your career in the RAF? For me uh, a lot of them would be within the University Air Squadron. I learned to fly which was a really exciting opportunity. Um, didn't get bit by the flying bug but I loved being in the air. In class I'm a massive sports fan and I had the opportunity to go on the pitch at Chelsea football club before a game for uh, Remembrance Day and do part of their service and also before the NFL London games at Wembley and that was an amazing experience to see so many people around you looking at you representing the armed forces. That sounds amazing, I want to do that. <laughs> How about you, what exciting opportunities have you had? Um, so I've been fortunate enough to go away with the RAF volleyball team on a training camp in Jersey which was good fun, that was like my first time away with the team. Um, I also was fortunate to, enough to actually go and compete in Luxembourg with the England team internationally um, while I've been in, in service. So that was great. Um, we came second, so 
always a bonus. Um, yeah, and then we've, I've kind of just done adventure training days, a bit like yourself, you know, canoeing, um, paddle boarding, raft building, kind of those good team building activities. So they were always great fun. And I'm actually going away to America um, in the next couple of weeks on a um, to provide medic medic cover over there. So that should be great fun. Yeah. <laughs> Jasmine, you represent the England volleyball team, which is a huge achievement and one you must be really proud of. How have the RAF supported you and what advice would you give to someone who was thinking about joining and really into sport? The RAF has allowed me to train and compete on a regular basis uh, before COVID happened, really. I would be training once a month for about a week at a time with the RAF and the UK Forces team. So obviously it's a great opportunity to um, keep improving our level of play and just get involved in sport really and meet loads of new people. There's so many opportunities, so many opportunities in sport within the RAF. And for anyone that's thinking of joining that's into sports, you know, it's just making the most of it and, you know, just don't get trapped into your day job because there are so many opportunities, like you were saying earlier as well, with adventure training and, you know, going off and competing in sports. And even if you're not fully into sports, you know, there's so many opportunities to go and join development teams and taste the sessions and find out sports that you like. And, you know, you may find a sport that you love, but you never thought you would. To commission or not to commission? That is the question. Um, <laughs> for me, I really wanted to commission um, partly to do the job I'm doing, but also I really enjoyed um, taking on those leadership roles and being able to develop other people as well as myself as I go through. Um, and something I was always interested in looking at commissioning from sort of the beginning. Um, but I definitely think that there are really good roles in both sides and it's actually you'd make sure you look at the role not just as whether to commission or not to commission in my experience at least because you can get some really great experiences and it shouldn't you should look for yourself what you're going to enjoy most not just what the title is what's it like being a female in the aria i think it's great being a female in the aria you know there's so many equal opportunities everyone's respected the same um, and I feel really supported and I feel like really encouraged to progress throughout my career. Definitely, for sure. I say the same. I honestly wouldn't say I'm any different being a female than I was if I was a male, especially sort of being in a male dominated environment such as my branch. I genuinely don't think that I'm treated any differently. I just have a great time and get on, get on and do the job. <laughs> What do your family and civilian friends think about what you do in the Royal Air Force? My family and friends are really proud of what I do um, and working and the job that I do protecting the UK on a daily basis. But also they're really jealous, <laughs> especially <laughs> my friends um, getting the time off to go and play sport and go and do exciting things. I had a week off and went to Bavaria to do adventurous training for a week. And um, my friends and family were like, oh we really want to go and I'm like join the Royal Air Force then and you'll get to do it. <laughs> so I'm not from a military family so it's kind of completely new for everyone really um, but a bit like you they're really proud you know they're really supportive and I think everyone's so shocked at how many opportunities there are for us in the RAF yeah. um, and I think my family are so pleased for me that I can I've been able to join the England team again and kind of fall back in love with the sport that I'll be, I had to stop doing so you know they're really you know proud that I can carry on doing that and my civilian friends same like you they're so jealous and I think as well they always want to know what I'm doing because they don't have that knowledge you know and I tell them and they're like oh god this is amazing and I'm like yeah you just join the RAF you know and then you'll, you'll be able to go away on adventure training and do sport and things like that so yeah I think it's definitely something that they, they you know they just love to hear you know what I do so it's great what words of advice would you give a fellow female looking to join the RAF today? That's what I'd say, just do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> have confidence and self-belief and be sure in the knowledge that the RAF will support you in what you want to do as well. Um, it's a really supportive environment. And I felt supported all throughout my training and now as a qualified controller, I still feel really supported now. Well, my answer is pretty similar to you. You know, be confident, have that self-belief. And, you know, just get involved. Um, yeah. You know, it can be really quite scary signing up and kind of thinking, oh, shall I do it? Shall I not? But, you know, just do it. You know, there's nothing to lose. And like you say, be open minded. And, you know, there's such a great supportive career and you can make so many great friends. 
So, you know, be confident, have self-belief and then just do it. What advice would you give your younger self knowing what you know now? I think I would definitely advise my younger self to just be a bit more confident, have a bit more self-belief. I think from being from such a competitive background, I was so worried about failing um, and, you know, not being able to do it. But actually, you know, I had such a great time like going through training. It, I had a really, really enjoyable experience. You know, you make so many great friends and there is nothing to worry about. You know, you, it's, it's just one of those things you've got to get through training. And then once you're out into, you know, RAF life, it's just so great. There's so many great opportunities. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend myself to be have, be, have more confidence and more self-belief. For me, I'd say exactly this. <laughs> Believe in yourself more. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I'm quite a competitive person. I'm always like looking to find like something better, be better, be better, be better. And I Definitely. actually sometimes I lack the ability to look back and be like, already pretty good now though. Don't forget like that. Yes, you could be better, but look how good you are now as well. Yeah. And look how far you've come as well. I think that's that's the important thing, you know. It's you're in the present moment, but it's also looking back and thinking, God, I've actually achieved a lot. What was the thing you found most fun during training? It's just definitely the friendships that you make, you know. You're kind of thrown together with a bunch of girls and you've got 10 weeks. For us, it's 10 weeks. Um, and you just kind of bond. And it, I don't know what it is. You all just get on so well and you, you know, you're helping each other. You're, you're singing, you're dancing around your room just to kind of, you know, de-stress from the day. And it's just a great experience. You know, I found training really, really enjoyable. Um, and I love loads of aspects of it. Same as you, we went and did adventure training, um, which was great, really great team bonding. And, you know, it just brought us all closer together. Um, I really enjoyed drill as well, which was another part of training that I found most fun. I think because I was quite active and I liked that, like, the physical kind of learning side of things, I picked it up really quickly and I really enjoyed that. It was just funny just to be practicing drill in your room at night and your respirator drills and things. So yeah, with a great yeah. bunch of girls. So, yeah, I definitely think it's the friendships that you make during training for sure.